السلام علیکم گڈ مارننگ خوش آمدی جی آیا نو خوئی مرخ بخیر آگلے جی ہاو چوڑے شبے وش والے اوہائے گڈ زائی مس گوٹن مورگن اولا بو یور پری ویت کئی فحال حال شما چطورے آلن وسالن مرحبا بونا موچو گراسیا سوابیا بینا بری امیزی گوڈ مارننگ ٹو ایوری بڈی ویس ٹیون انٹو پی ٹی وی وارڈ اور واشنگ وارڈ دس مارننگ الانگ سائی دی بری امیزی دی بری پینٹاسٹک Shiza Hashmi and Shahzad Khan. Hello, Shiza. How are you on this Wednesday morning? I am absolutely great. And you mentioned Wednesday, yes. But it's such a beautiful morning outside in the Twin Cities, ladies and gentlemen. I think I mentioned this two days ago as well, that it's been uh, cloudy and it's been raining here. But last night was absolutely stunning. I have no idea why you're laughing. Yeah, I've got something <laughs> amazing to share. That is that, you know, as soon as I said Wednesday morning, so, you know, you're always confused inside your head whether it is Wednesday or not. Is it? And as soon as you said that, you know, or, you know, since you mentioned about Wednesday, Day, so I thought that you were actually going to say that, you know, oh, it's Thursday today. It's but thank okay. God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we hope everybody out there is doing great. You, yes. you guys are perfect. We are opening our window of hope, prosperity, success, dedication, motivation. And love. To other 46 different countries. Well, you know, uh, a man saying or talking about love is something very different. People take it the other way. But yeah. <laughs> Wherever you, are, you guys are, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that you're keeping yourself happy Absolutely. and that your family is intact and together. Absolutely. But and also, other than that, yeah. yeah, since the weather is so cool and amazing, please make sure that you go out today. Because other, otherwise, yes. I think till 22nd of July, I think there will be days which will be very hot. Oh, yeah, they're almost around the corner. <laughs> But ladies and gentlemen, you, uh, Shazad, you very rightly said that we need to go out to enjoy this weather. This is probably short-lived. I came across a video from Lahore yesterday. Okay. It was a street, uh, an old street. I am not really sure what the area was. Yep. But it was super flooded, man. There was water, like, up yeah. till here. Yeah. And people on bikes were almost, like, swimming in the water. It was good to look at, but I'm pretty sure it was problematic for the people living over there. It was very problematic. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, my prayers go out to all of you that you uh, make it out through this week. But... <laughs> also enjoy this week as well. Yeah, let, me, let me tell you, Shiza, this is something very interesting as well. So yeah. I've lived in Karachi for five years and I've lived in Lahore for two years as yeah. well. And Karachi, uh, whenever we talk about rains, you know, Karachi, ladies and gentlemen, is very horrible in that aspect because Why? of the fact that they do not have a Nala system over there. Oh, no. And so, yeah, your car actually feels like swimming on the road. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, you never know whether you're going to be home or not. But, yeah, <laughs> that's how it is. And I think that the local <laughs> authorities really need to put their head together yes. so that it is more convenient for people in Lahore and Karachi to while enjoy. they're driving, while mm. they're out for work, in rain that it's more comfortable you know because if there's water all over the road it is very hard for people well in fact nobody's walking in the rain but people who are actually driving or riding or are, are, are just standing to wait waiting for the rain to stop hmm. i think uh, people really need to put in an effort but other than that yes you know so there's this news that people are actually flushing their drugs oh yeah so this yes was, uh, yeah so this was actually news i came across in the morning this was in um somewhere in the u.s not exact yeah. can't remember where though so there was a raid a police raid on a party or something so all the people over there tried to flush their drugs there there was a uh, meth and whatnot uh, really shouldn't talk about this early in the morning but we need to because it was borderline funny i'm sorry i'm saying <laughs> that so when you flush your drugs of course you're getting rid of them it's yeah. a good thing yes but don't flush them because of course then animals or the marine life yep. gators in the u.s Gator, but yeah. yes but fish along with the gators they are impacted by it i mean imagine living organisms being exposed to drugs exactly. that they're not even ever going to choose for themselves. Imagine, and if, if these drugs are a problem for alligators and fish, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's a huge problem for people who are actually consuming it. So please, exactly. it's don't. a public service message, don't do that, never do that. Yeah, don't, okay. don't use them, <laughs> but if you use them, don't flush them. <laughs> <laughs> God forbid, don't use them. Okay, don't the use way. them, yes. Yeah, but other than that, Shiza, I've got a very interesting question to ask, okay. and that question is that usually, you know, whenever hmm. we are texting, yes. the first thing I, uh, I just do not like texting, and it's because of the fact that you really cannot let the other person know how you're feeling the, uh, yeah the way you're feeling right. and what kind of expression you were sh trying to share and so uh, what people did was that they came up with emojis right so we, oh, we have yes. those emojis over here this one ladies and gentlemen represents me cool boy and this one represents <laughs> she's a happy girl yes okay yeah course. so <laughs> today we are in a contract that where we're not actually going to say anything to each other but today is Emoji Day, ladies and gentlemen, the 17th of July happens to be Emoji Day. I remember, Shazad, this was probably one of the uh, starting weeks for me yep. at this show last year. And we had this day, of course, we were yep. discussing, we had a trailer to play as well. But this year, we decided not to play a trailer of this movie called Emojis. <laughs> of course, everyone's watched it. We're going to discuss it, though. Yeah. So my first question to you is, what is your most, uh, most used emoji? 
Okay, so uh, obviously, you know, it depends on the type of people you're having a conversation with. No, I but mean, like when you open your keyboard, the first one that pops up. The first one that pops up on uh, the top left corner, ladies and gentlemen, for me is this one with two fingers, you know. It's, it's oh this. yeah, it's this thing. Even everything's if good. Everything's good. Yeah. <laughs> no, but no further thing. talk. <laughs> Even if you're updating him about the show or about you know office work, this is his reply. Yeah. What about it's you? It's so convenient. What about you? Uh, mine, I have I have many emojis though. There's this one with a fairy, a, li a little Tinkerbell thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, there's this one huggy emoji. I send that a lot okay. to all my friends out there, to oh. every one of my family members okay. as well. We never so bought one, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Just on record. Yeah, but so these two are the top on my all right. Oh, yes, and, this and now, one, my And now what, what she's just going to do is, ladies and gentlemen, that we're actually going to share an emoji on screen. Yeah. And she's just actually going to try do the same thing. So it's something like this, you know. Yeah, the next one though, like yeah, something like this. Okay. Yeah, this do is you actually this? Come on, like... you got to do this too as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay, do this, this one. one you're gonna do. The tongue's inside. When you come I back. help the tears. Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, this is something like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, we need, I'm we need happy, but I'm sad at though. the same time. Okay, probably. <laughs> no, it's tears of laughter. It's, you yeah, can't I know. Even it's a uh, Oh, this is okay. actually. This one, I think you can do that. I will do, but this is you. Why is it me? I don't wink at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do we have any more? Yeah, yeah. We, we have quite a lot of them. I mean, emojis make our life easier, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is how we are normally. Yes, this yes. is how everyone should be when they start their day, ladies and gentlemen. We hope. With or without coffee. Oh, yeah. This one. This, this is one she's me up. during <laughs> meetings, actually. <laughs> during our team meets when we're having, like, you know, a discussion of what we're going to yeah. do next week or something. I'm always confused. Well, that's just great. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, what about this one? Have you ever used it? Uh, no, actually, I don't know if it exists on my phone or not. <laughs> I think it's for people who are bald. Probably I can use that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, with eyebrows reaching towards. Oh, yeah. oh yay, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay, come back. That's enough of emojis. You, yes. You are actually enjoying it yourself. You know, this is a message <laughs> for my producer. Stop doing that. Okay, we've got guests over here. Exactly. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, so I think emojis do uh, make our lives easier. But please Absolutely. make sure do not send like a flying kiss emoji to somebody whom you really barely talk. Yeah. So you really have to be careful, please. And yeah, thank God that you cannot blame it to autocorrect as well because oh, the emoji you choose. But that's not thank God. That's actually like it's hard to I mean, manage. No, it's not hard to manage in emojis because there's no autocorrect in emojis. You just have to click on one. But accidentally, if you click on the wrong one, then it's a you know it's a <laughs> mess. I mean, how do you explain that? Oh yeah, probably if you accidentally send somebody an emoji where there's a heart blowing out of your yeah. mouth, I think people will go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well let's but get this started. This is a lighter note, ladies and gentlemen. But other than the emoji day today, we're going to discuss two very important yeah. things. First of them being, um, you know, this is something actually Shazad we sort of touched upon yesterday as well. How Pakistani students are making a great name abroad in uh, studies specifically. Yep. So today we have someone uh, very young who has been studying abroad, who still is studying yeah. abroad, making yeah. name for Pakistan helping portray a softer image of Pakistan to everyone out there. And she also managed to bring her, you, you know, Gora friends to Pakistan to experience the culture hands-on, you know, so they know what Pakistan actually is. So, you know, it actually makes a great difference. Exactly. People taking on the responsibility, being Pakistani citizens, uh, realizing that everyone needs to play their part in making Pakistan a prosperous nation. Exactly. And then other than that, ladies and gentlemen, this daughter of Soil is actually breaking stereotypes yes. as well. And uh, whenever we say stereotypes, I know that it is a word which is used very commonly these days. I mean, just to look Gora as well, you know. We, we, we <laughs> got to do it at times. But then, other, other than that, I think that, you know, there has been that time, there's been yeah. a, uh, there were decades of that time as well where uh, parents actually never allowed their daughters to step outside the country. I mean, uh, step outside the country is still a big deal as well. They really Even never wanted the their daughters to step outside the city as well. I was not allowed to study in Lahore, do you know that? Yeah, why? Because I don't know, because Lahore. <laughs> because <she laughs> My dad was like, only Islamabad. Yeah, so, like, so this is one thing that she's actually fighting against as well by making her own self uh, as an example and representing her own self as an example to people out there that, you know, there are women who can actually achieve that. And yes. it's not really difficult to be on your own. Absolutely. You really do not have to be a mama's girl to go study abroad <laughs> as well, you know. So, you know, she came up with this idea and we were glad that, you know, she's over here. We would definitely like to promote and project as much as we can because I think that she's moving in the right direction. Absolutely. Without further ado, I think it's time to introduce this amazing young lady over here in the studios. Uh, she is none other than Khadija Gohar, a Pakistani student, of course, who's studying abroad, a high achiever as well. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the show. Wa alaikum assalam. Happy to be here. Thank you very much once again. And, you know, there's one thing which we missed out, ladies and gentlemen. And whenever I was, when I was in my university, yeah. if somebody missed out on that one, 
I literally felt like killing them. I'm sorry to say which that, but it? she is uh, on a hundred percent scholarship, <laughs> which I wow. think is a great deal as well. You know, Absolutely. she's a bright student. Her mother's over here in the studios. Thank you, Auntie, for uh, for bringing her <laughs> to PTV as well. Which is why I'm just going to ask you. I'm sorry that I'm going to put you in uh, under the spot. So you can go to USA all by yourself, study over there for the last three years, but you cannot come to PTV without your mother. Oh. What kind of breaking stereotypes is that? I think. The first of all, it's for personal reasons. I think I'm, she's very happy to be here, okay, that's and great. If, uh, I think that's the major reason. But if she could have come to US with me, she would have loved to. Wow. Yeah. So and also, I'm vacationing. I want to spend as much time exactly. with her as possible. You just have so it's more of those right? that's the dynamics as well. Like, the German <laughs> is a good one, believe me. Right. So, so Khadija, to begin with, um, you're doing your bachelor's in the US right now, yeah. and of course, you plan on doing more over there as well. Um, you are again belonging to that very small privileged community in Pakistan who happens to do that. Yeah. You had a great support from your family. You mentioned you didn't have to go through all of that. Na jao, khabar da, yeah, you know, stuff so like that. Yeah. She went through this. <laughs> she wanted to go to Lahore to study and anyway, know, she went through this. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no, but so no, you, you're lucky. Of course, yeah. we get that. And Mashallah, you're brilliant as well. Um, it wasn't hard for you, but for all the Pakistani girls out there, how do you think they can get to where you are? Because there's so many talented girls. Definitely, definitely. And I totally agree with you. Um, and I think the answer to that is that it is the responsibility on students like us and yeah. the people who come from privileged backgrounds to yes. make sure that there is equality of opportunity. Yeah, okay. um, and the way that can be done is, I think media is a great platform. Yeah. When you see, when if even parents see different daughters coming on the media, telling them that it's completely safe there. It's exactly. a good environment. So I think that sort of starts that chain reaction, which inspires inspires others um, and I think that's the best way forward uh, because there is a lot of talent in Pakistan there's no yeah. question about it the only thing mm. is there's a lack of direction yeah. uh, so once that is there uh, the talent will do wonders thank you right, very exactly. much for saying that but we, will, but we would definitely like to take you back in time where you mm. actually going to get nostalgic about the fact that the good news came in and that you were selected and yes. you know you were awarded a hundred percent scholarship but you know, one way or the other, you might have it in your head. I don't know what everybody's going to respond uh, or the response be like. Yeah. So how was it when you actually got the mail and you knew that you know you you're there, you 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 can go there? Yeah. Did you actually had a barrier in your own head that what if Mama's going to say no? What if Baba's going to yeah. say no? Yeah. Definitely, I think it was a bittersweet feeling. It okay. was amazing, but at the same but time, were you expecting likely. it though? Uh, frankly, no. I had okay. already, you know, applied to the universities in Pakistan because I never planned on going abroad, okay. honestly. It okay. was more of a thing, okay, let's just do it. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, uh, it was uh, scary, but um, if, if it, ra rather than ask from my parents, I was scared myself because, you know, in Pakistan, we are very pampered. We yep. not, mostly exactly. none of us have lived independently. Mm -hmm. So this whole idea, okay. not, not just education, but going there, living on your own, traveling for the first time, that too, without family, that was definitely uh, a problem. But then again, I had some my own inspirations. I personally knew some students who were there. Okay. So I had that inspiration in front mm. of me and I knew, you know, mm. that if they can do it, I can do it. Too. Yeah. So right. or when you have a role model and then you have more than one role model which yeah. is very easy and it's also very reassuring wow. right of course then you have some footsteps to go exactly. on to as well right exactly. so that's very brave of you yeah. Khadija ladies and gentlemen yes Shazad yeah. I know you have a question <laughs> but just one very important thing you know um, it's not that we are probably just glorifying the students who go abroad and we're bringing them over here the only purpose of doing this is every other day Shazad we mentioned we love to leave a message for all of you out there because I know more than 40 countries we are definitely opening our windows but even in Pakistan there are so many people out there who probably exactly. today or tomorrow who need to hear that you know it's Very safe well to do said. this who you know it's <laughs> safe to send your daughters or your sons to go abroad and study because this is a changing world I mean yeah. of course we are a collectivistic culture a collectivistic society but sometimes you really need to let go of the boundaries or of the you know uh, I don't know strings that are attached to you because it is probably but you know at the same time ladies and gentlemen this is the message what we want to get out as well I mean so just listen to the question carefully okay so when you were in Pakistan, when you were living with your parents, what kind of personality did you have then? And what kind of personality changes have you adopted to now? Good question. Oh, uh, <laughs> definitely like far more independent, far better with financing. Because, you know, when you're in oh, Pakistan, absolutely. even if you're living on your own, your parents are sending you money, you don't really budget on your own. Yeah. But when you're abroad, so starting from buying your own toothpaste to anything, <laughs> you have to do it on your absolutely. own. So definitely I'm a much more smart spender now. Yeah. Um, 
much more independent and I also feel like much more tolerant because yeah. when you uh, study mm. in a society, patient, patient and yes. tolerant, you yes. know, when you when you go out with people who belong from all sorts of moral backgrounds, all sort of religious backgrounds, mm. you learn how to respect others. Absolutely. Exactly. So Absolutely. I think that's tolerance is one of the most uh, highlighted changes in my personality. And, and then, you know, usually I've seen that, I'm, I'm sorry that I have to generalize it, but I've seen women, you know, being scared of uh, being alone. Yeah. Just, just yeah. by being alone, they're scared. Yeah. You know, cockroaches. Uh, you oh, know, that's another story. That's, 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 that's being alone. Be, yes. going, going, going out late at night to shop for, for, for a commodity which you just need yeah. at yeah. that very moment. That's very unfortunate that we are. It shouldn't be like that. Yeah. But it's unfortunate that but we anyway, have. But uh, are those traits still the same way or have you adopted? Have you changed all of those traits? You're more independent. Uh, definitely more independent, more but you have to be smart when you're maneuvering in a different culture. Yeah, there's a true, there's true. a fine line between being independent and between being stupid. Yep. So you need true. to keep that balance where you're safe enough, but at the same time you're able to do what you want. Well, wow, that's just great, and right. which is why I'm actually I'm sorry. Well, no I'm going to ask you how many times does your mom actually FaceTime you or WhatsApp you in a day? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to ask this one. No, we <laughs> yeah, go ahead. we have Auntie to. Be very angry. <laughs> yeah. We have to talk once a day. That was our deal when I was. For how long? Day. Um, it could be for like five minutes, ten minutes or so, but I have to call her at least once. I think that was one of the only deals when I was leaving. Okay, you can go, but you have to keep me updated. Okay. So it could, ha it could, it can be for five minutes. It can also be for an hour. But, Khadija, but it it's not a deal. Do you realize that when we are away, you really, really, whenever or wherever you feel like calling them, there you have so many stories to share. You yes. have so many things to tell. Yes. You, so many advices that you need only from yeah. your parents, you can yes. get the right yeah. ones, right? Yeah. So okay, now I mentioned at the beginning of the show that you were able to bring some of your friends to Pakistan. Yeah. Let them. Yeah experience the culture yeah. right yeah. how was it uh, first of all were they when you you know proposed the idea to them yeah did they have any reservations yeah. or you know were they open about it actually interestingly she was in, in one of my classes with me in the university and she was there was a chapter on Faisal Masjid so okay. she was very intrigued to see that wow. she was already coming in South Asia so I invited you know why don't you come here yeah. so we, I brought her in Islamabad took her to Faisal Masjid then she absolutely loved it wow. yeah. um, and I was sort of shocked too because I was especially concerned you know people would be staring at her you know the general South Asian culture okay. yeah. but when she was comparing it with the other South Asian countries she was like I'm actually shocked because people stare less at me wow. oh wow so it's but that's only in Islam by those so I just say no, that is very true yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But, but the point being often we think you know things are very bad in Pakistan obviously there has to be a lot that needs to be changed but it's not as bad as it's as portrayed, it portrayed globally absolutely and, uh, right absolutely. Know, that, that's a moment of relief ladies and gentlemen but which is why I'm actually going to ask her another question which is very pertinent and that okay. is how many times has your father actually has to say Bita, dollar baad mango ho <laughs> Don't General ask. Questions. These days, that is the only conversation because it is not coming down. It's not. Yeah, it's, it's, not. It's, it's, uh, not. it's flying high way above. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be nice if you're earning in yeah. dollars, but if you're earning in rupees and spending oh, yes. it in dollars, it's, 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 it's exactly very Exactly my point. So imagine that for all of those kids who are actually studying abroad, ladies and gentlemen, these days it's getting very tougher for them. Hmm. I mean, me being that person who actually has to travel for medical reasons and uh, pound being more expensive there as well. Yeah. I think that this the is most, one thing probably. which everybody needs to consider as well. And uh, yeah, so have you ever thought of opting for a side job or a side hustle just to, you yeah. know, manage yeah. your... I think yeah. that was uh, once again one of the biggest differen uh, differences from here and there. Yeah. Here you wouldn't see a lot of students doing part-time jobs, uh, but there it's a very common thing. In fact, I was very ashamed when I told them that you know I am at this point of my age and I've never worked. They were very shocked. Then you know their initial response was, "I don't know. Are it's you a very?" Thing there, right? It's so a we, thing. Yeah. Like the like they were like, "Are you very rich?" It's not <laughs> even a, because for them, whatever their parents earn belongs yeah. to them, and what and after a certain age, you need to support yourself. Yeah. So yes, course, I'm doing a course. job there. Wow. Uh, on campus so which again brings me back when I started earning myself I understood yeah. how you know how important it is to be a smart yeah. spender <laughs> right right it's the thing though you know so we always grow up listening to our parents telling you khud kamao ki to yeah, kadar exactly, that's yeah. very and you true. never get the kadar you know as yeah. long as you start yeah, earning that's, that's very not, true. actually this brings me to the point we yeah. should start you know uh, asking for our pays in dollars oh, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know though but ladies and gentlemen right now we have one of our favorite segments from the show that we've lately brought in it's called picture of the day let's see what we have here so Khadija whatever comes to your mind when you see the picture first sure. we're going to discuss okay let's Can do it on the screen yeah, what's happening 
Oh, I oh, think, I think it's, it's very uh, powerful and obvious. Yeah, it's, it's it's probably a labor after a hard day of work. No, I think it's not he's cutting the tree, but without yeah, oh, realizing time, that he's yes. actually, you know, stopping his own oxygen and yes, bringing bad nutrients to the Yes, because the shadow of his head is yes. he he actually cut it off. Yes, that's very true. Climate change is a very real thing in Pakistan. Absolutely. Unfortunately, we're not focusing enough on it, but it's a real thing. It's happening. We Absolutely. need to do something about it. So please go plastic free. Yeah. Oh yes, I mean my university in, is, yeah. in Islam is absolutely plastic free. Oh, that's but wonderful. Yes. What do you have to say about this uh, picture she left? I already said. <laughs> no, is that is that it? Because I've got a very different uh, yeah. okay, thing go to on, say. Go yeah, on, so, go on. so, ladies and gentlemen, this picture actually depicts an idiot in the picture yeah. who, in the first place, by cutting a tree, is an idiot, and then yes. by realizing that his own head is actually just down there as well. So, so this guy is uh, a complete idiot. Please make sure that you do not cut trees. Uh, look please make them. sure you're not the guy. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, not, you're not that guy who's <laughs> yes. actually doing something of this sort as well. Absolutely. But so, very quickly, before we wrap up this segment, Khadija, uh, towards the end, you know, you will obviously, you know, in, in days to come, you know, there'll be days when you actually have to decide for your own self now that right. what, you know, what you want in mm. life and what you want to do. Uh, so far, your family has been very supportive. But unfortunately, God forbid, if there's a day when your parents are actually going to tell you, okay, you might want to do this, but yeah. we're actually going to get you married. You know, yeah. this is a very Pakistani thing. He said unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, yeah. for people who are actually career-oriented, I think no, that they should actually be given the yeah. right space. Yeah. What are you going to do in a situation of that? I sort? think for me, marriage and career are not two contrasting opinions. Okay. They can go hand-in-hand hand very saying well. saying It's a very natural thing. There's no, nothing to be scared of them. Yeah. And so far, personally, my dad is the biggest feminist I know. Oh. Oh, so wow. there's no question of happening something, you know, against my will. It's going to be a mutual decision. Nothing Perfect. I'm scared of uh, but that doesn't mean I stop doing or focusing on my career both Perfect. things go hand in that's hand great. so I don't think there's any conflict there well, <laughs> there shouldn't brilliant. be any conflict there shouldn't there. be thank you so much for saying that Khadija and ladies and gentlemen it only brings me to say this that of course Khadija is the lucky one over here she's been she's been the smart okay. one too but it really depends on the parents Shazad as well if they are educated if they understand what's going on if they're transforming with time I mean you know a lot of parents that I know are stuck up in let's say 70s or 80s they're mm. not coming out I'm being honest over here. I'm yeah. sorry if I'm offending anyone. No, no, but that's not. only doing something bad to your children, right? Yes, I mean, sure. it's different ages. Even your religion tells you to, you know, not relate your situation with your kids because exactly. it's different ages. It's different times. It's everything. Which is why I think I'm going to pay a rich tribute to Gohar Saab as well. And Auntie Ji, thank you very much for, you know, giving undue support to your kids. And may it be a daughter or, uh, or or a son, it doesn't really matter. This is one thing which we were uh, trying to highlight 2019. Today, today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and even if it wouldn't have been 2019, I think that, you know, all of those ladies who was, who's done this sort of work in the previous years has actually came down to... To, to, to a point where there are people who really want their kids to get the maximum exposure. Absolutely. And uh, even our religion says that, that, you know, uh, traveling is actually one of the best learners, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and learning experiences. We talk about this as well. And thank you very much for being with us. It was wonderful to have you. Thank you and so much. Best of luck for your future endeavors. And whatever you want to do, may Allah uh, definitely bestow His blessings upon you and thank your family you so and for everybody out there, ladies and gentlemen. Daughters absolutely. are a blessing. Please make sure to look Indeed, after them. Indeed, absolutely. <laughs> so since we were talking about, you know, how we can portray a softer image of, a better image of Pakistan across the world, this is what we will be hanging on to after the break as well in a probably different uh, dimension. Yes, yeah, so do, yeah. do you want me to clarify that dimension? So ladies okay. and gentlemen, <laughs> whenever you travel, obviously you need a pair of shoes which is actually more comfortable. So that you Perfect can go one. places and that you, you, you feel healthy and that your knees are not hurting or your ankles are not hurting. Uh, so we've got somebody who's actually going to let us know about footwear. I mean, uh, this is a topic we nobody wants to talk about, but I think shoes are very close to my heart. I'm a shoe Obviously, collector myself. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let's talk about it. Good morning. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to World This Morning, ladies and gentlemen, on a beautiful, beautiful Wednesday yeah. morning with Shazad Khan and Shazad Hashmi, where today we are celebrating Emoji Day. No, I'm lying. We're definitely not celebrating if we spoke about it. So me, though. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about something so important. So Shazad did give it away before the break, but I have a question yeah. for you, Shazad. Um, more often than usual, oh, this is actually a legit question. This is not scripted. <laughs> Because of your height and everything, you have a bigger shoe size. Yeah. This is the same problem with my dad and my brother as well. How problematic is it for you to buy the right shoes from Pakistan? Oh yeah, thank you very much for asking that. But you know, you might not have expected this answer. But okay. ever since I was growing up, I think I was used to of wearing uh, shoes which were a size bigger to me. Okay. Because you know, Pakistani parents, but you just take two or three. Agla saal chal Yeah. So eventually, when I grew up, and you know, when I okay, I'm sorry, but I'll have to show you this as well. Uh, it's it's not really a reasonable thing to do on television. But I've got big feet, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, and uh, so uh, you know there are these things where, which people say over in Pakistan as well. Sir, bade sardara de, pair bade jamadar, you know things like that. So I've been a child who's actually grown up by listening to all of these funny things as well. Yeah. Uh, not paying heed to any of these, yeah. but yeah, that's correct. You know, it is very hard for me to find my uh, correct shoe size. You usually have to be. Uh, I'm very confused. So what I do is that since I'm traveling. So after every six months, whenever I go, you know, I get whatever I want. Want because over no, here in Pakistan. But isn't it hard though? You have to wait. Like you really have to wait for a new yeah. pair of shoes. Yeah, and, and the reason it's not that that I cannot find my size over here, but you know the type of shoes Quality. I want to wear are not readily available over here. Either I, I actually have to go to somebody who's actually going to make it with his own hands. Yeah. Or otherwise I'll have to wait. You know. So this okay. is one thing. And you know, uh, being on TV, being on stage, you really have to stand out with whatever you wear Absolutely. or whatever you say. So half of the time people do job. say, "Oh, you guys are so brand conscious and whatnot." It's not that that we are brand conscious. It's just that that you wear the same stuff we wear, and you know. So every time we really need to come up with something new, so that you know you have something to follow us with. Absolutely. I mean, not just shoes. I'm not just saying that. You know, that can be character, that can be personality and whatnot. True. So it is hard True. for us to get it in Pakistan. Right. Also, Shahzad, you know, there are um, when we talk about shoes. I mean, it's different for every other occasion. I feel like it develops your comfort level, right? So if, yep. if we're going to dinner or something, if I'm wearing the wrong shoes, I'm going to be conscious all the time. I'm not going to perform well over there. I'm not yep. going to communicate well with the people over there. But I've seen women, you know, not comfortable with their shoes most of the time. You know, heels, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you will see. I'll be honest. I'm never trembling here and there. Oh, you made a hat to bagger lo yaar. No, but. But so that's the thing. Yeah. He is specific for some specific occasions. Likewise, I mean, if you're going to the gym, there are specific shoes for yep. that. If you're playing, yep. if you're, you know, I don't know, driving, just saying, if you're on a bike, yep. <laughs> there are different shoes for that. So this is what we are looking at today yep. because um, it really matters. Yeah. Uh, your comfort level matters. And, and yeah, okay. So so I'm going to actually give you an answer to a question which women ask quite a lot: yeah. Where does your money go? You know, shoes for men. If you are into good shoes, ladies and gentlemen, are very expensive, very, very, very true, expensive. True. Believe me, I do like not really handbags. want to. Like handbags. I really, uh, yeah. Well, I think at times they are even expensive, more expensive than yeah. handbags as well. Yes, that's how shoes are, ladies and gentlemen. There are gazillions of brands out there. It really depends on what kind of shoe you want. But finally, we have got somebody over in Pakistan who claims that he's going to get you any imported and authentic shoe over here within Pakistan on a cheaper price. Well, wow. is that possible? If, yeah. So that makes me realize two things actually. Yeah. First of all, he does understand the ordeal of having the right shoe in yeah. every right occasion, and second, this yeah. is such a conducive <laughs> environment for businesses in Pakistan, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. He has picked up right on time. Exactly, we are promoting that as well. And these days on YouTube, we see a lot of kids who are actually millionaires themselves by selling shoes to celebrities. I mean, that's it. So imagine that even shoes can get you to be a millionaire, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. But without any further ado. <laughs> The person who's actually picked up on this business idea is with us over here in the studios, and we really want to promote this business. And we say it out loud to everybody out there: if there's anything you want help from us, we are right here. You all you have to do is write to us, and we'll have you over on the show too as well. But without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, a Pakistani businessman, and uh, he's none other than Mr. Saeed Niazi. Hello, Assalamualaikum. How are you? Hello, I'm good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining us. It's wonderful to have you. So same you were in same somewhere same in Dubai. Yes, and you saw a Filipino yes. wearing his jeans, and you thought, "Where did she? How can she buy that?" Yes, first because, of all, you were just mental over there. <laughs> yes, you yes, thought yes. that you know she's only getting paid two thousand dirham, and she's wearing shoes. No, tell the story to everyone else. Thousand dollars. So what? What happened? Yeah. Oh, actually, uh, well, I was uh, crazy about Yeezys. Let me tell you, and uh, uh, I was really crazy about uh, Yeezys, and uh, then I just uh, walked behind her, and I just. 
uh, said her that, uh, I mean, from where did you get these shoes? So she told me that uh, I got these from China. Okay. So uh, first, the first thing that came in my mind was the the price that you know I checked over internet and that was like around seven hundred dollars. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I was I was really <laughs> shocked that I mean uh, a lady that most probably she would have two or three thousand dirham salary, which is almost six hundred or seven hundred dollars. Okay. So how can she buy that? So from there I started searching. That uh, about uh, different suppliers, different vendors, and it's like a complete extensive research over shoes, yeah. which brought me over here. Okay. Now, yeah. Okay. So talk about the market in Pakistan. Talk about the demand. Talk about the response that you've been getting. See, uh, when 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 I talk about market, see, the market is good. Yeah. Uh, the, even the business <coughs> is good. Let me tell you, the mode of business is changing. Okay. Uh, the business is not going down, but the mode is changing. True. Uh, True. See, before. The people would prefer outlets. The pe people would prefer uh, big, big malls, big, right. big shops. But but now things are changing. I mean, people are going to online online business. Yeah. So that's what I mean by mode of doing business. So okay. business is there, yeah. but the mode is changing now. Okay, but now you know the type of clientele you've got over in Pakistan is yeah. kind of distinguished. You know, you, yes. So you're dealing with celebrities over here. I yes. don't know whether there are politicians on the line too as well or not. Not really. But <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we requested him to share a few pictures if he, if he's got uh, pictures from the latest designs of shoes, which I are readily available over here as well. But how many times? Do you really have to, or do people call you in the first place and ask you whether see, this one is available uh, or not? See, uh, let me tell you. Uh, first of all, I don't call myself a businessman. Okay. Uh, I mean, I call myself as a influencer. You know, who could bring influence in Pakistan footwear culture? Okay. So you're not so, looking at the profit over no, here? No, 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 yeah. not at all, not hmm. at all. I'm my not. my focus is to bring uh, people to the right footwear and to the hype trends, which all around the world and the worldwide okay. there is a hype. Mm -hmm. you, you get my point, yeah, what I, I mean? So, uh, right now my focus is not to make customers, not to make profit, but to tell people that this is a hype shoe, go and get it. Right. Okay. And I am here, I'll try to help you and I'll get you. To revolutionize that. Yes. But do you realize, Mr. Niazi, that because of uh, the influence of internet itself, yeah. I mean, uh, Instagram and whatnot, youngsters lately, along with celebrities, of course, they know their stuff. I mean, I'm going to say this. But they know their stuff. It, they know it, what they want. It just, it just depends on uh, what sort of... Uh, uh, likes and dislikes you have over Instagram yeah. or over Facebook. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's okay. say you are uh, brand conscious, yeah. and definitely you are going to look behind. I mean, you are you are going to look uh, on the pages of different mm. celebrities and yeah. superstars, and definitely you will see them wearing what jeans he's wearing, what watch he's wearing, what footwear yeah. he's wearing, and and nowadays there are a lot of pages that even I mean mention everything. On the celebrity, let's say the watch, he'll mention the brand with it. Everyone uh, does that. Yes, it's very good for that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. I mean, I mean to say there are different pages to tell people yep. that this is what he's wearing, this shirt is from this brand, this jeans is from this brand, it's and the shoe commercial. is from this brand. And it's happening over yes, here. Yes, yes, yes. It's happening over here in Pakistan as well, yes. ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm thankful to Allah Almighty that we do not really have to shop that much because there are certain True. brands yeah, who, who, who <laughs> keep on sending us stuff as yeah. well. So, which is why I'm actually going to ask you, when are you sending something over? I'm sorry, that was a no joke. issues. But okay, so there's one difficulty okay. I've faced in my life, and that is that you know Tom's do not have a longer life. Yes. You know, so after three months, four months, you know, your Tom's are taken away due from features are kharaab, are kharaab. I guess. Uh, do, do we have Tom's available readily over here in Pakistan? I mean, there are Tom's, and much better is Vans. Yeah, I know I Vans. No, but Vans, Vans are a little, little difficult to carry. Okay. You so know, because they're heavier. Uh, they're heavier in weight. Actually, Tom, actually, they, they both have a, they both have different versions. Yep. Uh, I mean, Tom is a much more casual wear than Vans. Vans is Vans is like uh, you could say. Uh, you you remember you, you remember a kind respect. of school shoe we used to wear in the school time. Yeah, yeah. All the year you will play football with it. You will do everything. It will not. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it will not go away. So it, Vans is like that. But All Tom's right. is little delicate. The, the sole know. purpose, of, okay, you you gotta understand that yeah. because that whenever I'm going to ask you a question, there's another question after you answer. Sure, okay? sure, sure. <laughs> so, so the sole reason why I asked you was to just verify for myself and for my audience out there whether you're more expensive or the brand itself is more expensive. So, how much are you selling a pair of Tom's for? Uh, I mean, I I guess uh, the brand itself is expensive. Yeah. Because. Uh, Okay, this is, I think, you sent this photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the photos. I, I would like to Adidas elaborate the shoe. This is Adidas Shark. 
Yeah. Okay. And these are the Yeezys. This is the Kanye West edition and yeah. uh, the one that I'm wearing as well. And uh, these are also Yeezys 350s. And 100% authentic, right? Yeah, yeah. So there's no way that anybody, so for example, if I'm wearing it to a show and somebody comes up and asks me oh, whether are these from China or not. No, so no, 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 not at all. They're authentic know? because they're being made under the banner of the yes, company Yes, yes, under itself, the banner right? of the company itself. So yes. I think they're globalizing because of course yes. they want to go global yes, about yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. And then? Sorry? I like shoes, you know, yeah, so of I course. like them. Though. So here's the thing, how does it work? So uh, just last month, uh, Vance came out with a Harry Potter edition. So yes. if I were to ask you, I Even, want to... Uh, let, let me tell you, Adidas came up with a Game of Thrones edition. Yes. Now. Yes, Six so how does, pairs of how does it work? So I message you that I need this, this, this. For example, yeah. let's say Gryffindor ones from the vans. First of all, first of all, there will be like 40, 50 kind of uh, models that we have already okay. in our warehouses okay. that we will show you or maybe on Instagram or Facebook, okay. our pages. Okay. And uh, people can select out of it. And there will be like 40, 50 those which have a great hype all around the world. Perfect. Wow. Okay. And for example, you have any demand. So uh, we'll, we'll see a trend that we are we are mm -hmm. getting this, this rising, demand yes. as well. So mm -hmm. maybe we'll import that as okay. well. Okay. Later which is why I'm going to come back to my question. How much are you selling Tom's for? That, that I can tell you after this. No, no, not, not after. Not now. You know, because of the fact that we're sharing this entire thing with our viewers, and I, we want I, them to benefit from this, and we want you to benefit from this, I see, think that uh, truth really need to be I can, I, if, if, if you'll buy from me, I'll give you that in five to 6,000 rupees. Five, 6,000 rupees, yes. Tom's? Tom's and Vans. Really? Yes. No, but they are for 50 to 60 pounds. No, 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 yes? they, Vans, no. Vans no. themselves, like around 100 euros. Okay, no, so no, 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 not at all. Okay, so they I are around 50, 60 dollars. The, the golden snitch ones. So I'm trying to get it over here. So, you know, I've seen Tom's on a cheaper price, but I've seen them on TK Maxx. So, uh, okay. so what you guys do is that you guys probably pick up your stuff from TK Maxx, bring it to Pakistan. Not at all. You, you, you can, you can get a good pair in uh, starting from this range and it can go above, yeah, so depending on the brand. Uh, and depending on the shoe as well. So let, uh, let's say I have got a brand called Balenciaga. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I yeah. hope I you guys yeah. have heard the name. So the the shoe that Balenciaga got that high ankle shoe as well. Yes, I, I was yes. I'm ask sorry, for I'm knee showing off. Yeah. Speed runners. <laughs> they yeah. are called speed runners. Okay. So that shoe will start from two hundred dollars yeah. or three hundred dollars. Yeah, of course. So uh, how much the, are they available over here in, in Pakistan rupees? Uh, Twelve, thirteen thousand rupees. That's it. Yeah. So How then, for all of those people who are spending 300, 400, I know that you know the people have actually spent 500 pounds on that too as well. I've seen that shoe myself. So uh, then, euros. what's the competitive advantage of getting it ourselves? See, uh, I think it's let, let me to get tell you. you. Let, is let this about tell the seven, you. seven A thingy? Yes. Yes, please come. Let, to let that. me tell you. Uh, we we call it a seven A quality. Yeah. Okay. Oh. It's not a replica. It's not a copy. It's done under the brand name. Okay. So, uh, what it is, let's say, for example, there will be only 10, 20 buyers of $1,000, mm. yeah. but there will be thousands of buyers of $100. Yeah. Yeah. So, they, 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 they are uh, producing, uh, I mean, that kind of a quality mm. as well for, the, for their, people. Uh, the for people the who have a okay. low, lower budgets okay. or maybe, but the quality and everything would be same. Wow. So, it's all done okay. under the brand name. So, uh, that, that what I mean that this is the kind of research that I have That's done great. personally and found oh, those suppliers. Right who could supply us these And things. how can people contact you? I mean, I got the page over Instagram and Facebook. The name and That's called The Casual Feet. Okay. It's pretty simple. At The Casual Feet, you will At type the in casual my page. Feet. So, ladies and gentlemen, yes. all you need to do is probably just look for the shoe you're looking for yeah. and just let uh, Niazi Saab do the rest. And uh, I know that uh, so far, whatever he's discussed with us, he's got his hands on job as well and he's a pretty good dealer with that. Absolutely. And I think that we are going to give him the benefit of doubt okay and yeah no but here's the thing so this is what i understand from whatever we've taken i know we really have to wrap up the show but if you have any doubts of the quality itself or the brand itself you can really like google it up right he rightly mentioned the 7a quality of it it really does come under the same brand yes. it caters to the masses so there are two types if and then you would have heard the name of factory outlet thing yeah my right name. right of course why I mean, why do you get a shoe in four five thousand from nike because over it's there not or maybe a retail a, shop yeah. no it's because it maybe it's produced in a larger in number Absolutely. and they, they are not able to sell it. So Absolutely. they'll sell cheaper. So okay. thank so you so much for being here, uh, Mr. Saeed Niazi, ladies and gentlemen, for all the Pakistanis out there who really have to wait for months for someone to go abroad and bring them the right shoe. Yep. It is going to be at your doorstep or at the expense of your phone. On your gadget, you can just really log on to their page and find your favorite shoe. Shazad and I are going to do the same as well. We are definitely not paid by them. We are promoting this because 
Pakistan Zindabad, of course, and because Pakistani we never businesses know, you know, need to be might, promoted. Yeah, we never know. They might even decide, you know, gifting us a pair and we might promote Fingers their Fingers crossed, pay that is what we like that. But <laughs> that other than that, thank you very much for being with us. It was wonderful to have you. But the way I'm going to wrap up, ladies and gentlemen, is different. I've seen a lot of people over in Islamabad. There was an article which recently came out in the newspaper saying that there's a group of people who are investing their money onto uh, buying branded clothes and shoes and whatnot, mm -hmm. and not, but they're not even eat. feeding enough. Uh, so please make sure that you eat regularly uh, rather balance, than right? you know investing your money into things which are very materialistic in nature. Yeah. Look after yourself first, and then you know God knows you might be rich one day, and uh, yeah, you can get to wear. And all of what you always wanted. So please make sure that there is a balance. Uh, strike a balance in your life. You know. You